Hello everyone, welcome to the US Stock Market Channel. Today is Thursday, November 21st, 2024. Today we are going to talk about analysis of Goldman Sachs's Trump bull market 2.0 inches investment advice. Let's first take a look at the current situation of the US stock market. US stocks opened higher on Thursday. Investors are still evaluating the important financial report of AI technology giant Nvidia. Bitcoin broke through $98,000 to hit a record high, and analysts are optimistic that it will break through $100,000. The Dow rose 154.52 points, or 0.36%, to 43,562.99 points. The Nasdaq rose 103.32 points, or 0.54%, to 19,069.46 points, and the S&P 500 rose 23.08 points, or 0.39%, to 5,940.19 points. After the U.S. stock market closed on Wednesday, NVIDIA announced strong third-quarter results, highlighting its dominance in the AI spending boom and giving strong performance guidance. The stock hit a record high after opening. Regarding the fact that NVIDIA's stock price fell after it released strong financial reports, Aswath de Motoran, a professor of finance at the Stern School of Business at New York University, said, this tells you how high the market's expectations game for NVIDIA has been. They must not only exceed analysts' estimates but also exceed expectations by 10%. Michael O'Rourke, chief market strategist at Jones Trading, said, Although we do not doubt the strong demand for NVIDIA's products, this does not mean that the growth rate will continue, and this is what investors care about. Charu Chanyana, chief investment strategist at Denmark's Saxo Bank, believes that NVIDIA's performance clearly shows that the momentum of AI is still increasing, and supply issues are more challenging than demand. Although some investors may have more expectations for NVIDIA, the vast majority of market participants are still very satisfied with the company. NVIDIA's third quarter results were very solid. Their data center revenue reached a record $30.8 billion, $29.1 billion on Wall Street, as demand for Hopper, NVIDIA's new generation GPU architecture products continued to be strong and H200 sales grew to the tens of billions, wrote Stacy Rasgon, an analyst at Bernstein, in a note to clients. NVIDIA shares are up 194% this year, as of Wednesday's close. Data analytics software company Snowflake shares surged more than 20% after the company announced a third quarter that exceeded expectations. Bitcoin broke through the $98,000 level for the first time on Thursday, as investors predicted that Trump would put the cryptocurrency industry at an unprecedented level during his second term as president. President-elect Trump's team is reportedly considering creating a position in the White House dedicated to cryptocurrency policy and is reviewing candidates for the position. This week, the Trump team held several consultations with executives in the digital asset industry, including discussions that the incumbent of the newly created position would lead a small team and serve as a liaison between Congress, the White House, and various cryptocurrency regulators. People familiar with the matter said it is unclear whether this senior staff position in the White House will be established. According to the U.S. political circles, whoever takes this position will be the cryptocurrency czar, that is, the person in charge of supervising the relevant policies and industry supervision of the federal government. If the news is true, it will be the first position in the White House ever dedicated to cryptocurrency, which will highlight the influence of the emerging cryptocurrency industry on the new U.S. government. Some analysts predict that Bitcoin will reach $100,000. Although Bitcoin has entered the overbought area, it is being attracted to the $100,000 level, said Tony Sycamore, an analyst at IG Markets. U.S. stocks closed mixed on Wednesday, with the S&P 500 index almost flat. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose nearly 140 points, and the Nasdaq closed down 0.1%. Traders will focus on Thursday's economic data on unemployment claims and existing home sales. On Thursday's economic data, the U.S. Department of Labor said on Thursday that the number of first-time unemployment claims fell by 6,000 to 213,000 in the week ending November 16, adjusted for seasonal factors. The unexpected decline in the number of first-time unemployment claims in the United States last week suggests that job growth may rebound in November after a sudden slowdown last month due to hurricanes and strikes. The November jobs report could influence whether the Fed cuts rates again in December. The data covers the Veterans Day holiday, which could bring some volatility. Although the number of people applying for unemployment benefits surged in early October due to disruptions caused by Hurricanes Helene and Milton and factory strikes by Boeing and another aerospace company, layoffs have remained low, which has eased the impact of slowing hiring on the labor market. The market is also watching the development of tensions between Russia and Ukraine. 
The latest news said that the Russian army used long-range missiles for the first time. Prior to this, Ukraine used U.S.-made and British-made missiles to attack targets in Russia this week, and Moscow has been warning that this would be regarded as a major escalation, and thus lower the threshold for using nuclear weapons. The Ukrainian Air Force said on Thursday that Russia launched an intercontinental ballistic missile into southern Ukraine. This is the first time that the Russian army has used a long-range missile. The Ukrainian army said that the Russian side targeted businesses and critical infrastructure in the central and eastern city of Dnipro. Trump has said he will end the war in Ukraine, but he has not said how to achieve it. Trump also criticized the huge aid provided by the current president to Ukraine. The warring parties believe that Trump may push for peace talks and try to gain a strong position before the negotiations. Daniel Murray, CEO of Swiss EFG Asset Management, said, Trump's victory has brought increased geopolitical uncertainty, which has also had an impact on market sentiment. Ukraine is now motivated to gain as many strategic advantages as possible before Trump takes office. On Thursday, the market will continue to pay attention to speeches by Federal Reserve officials, including Cleveland Fed President Beth Hammack, Chicago Fed President Austin Goolsby, and Kansas City Fed President Jeff Schmid. Let's return to the topic of the analysis of Goldman Sachs, Trump Bull Market 2.0 Inches Investment Advice. Goldman Sachs, Trump Bull Market 2.0 Inches Strategy, reflects a forward-looking perspective on U.S. economic growth and stock market trends under potential policy shifts. Here's a detailed analysis and action plan for investors based on this strategy. Point 1. Ambition. Focus on top stocks and explore mid-cap opportunities. Analysis, Big 7. Tech Stocks. While their dominance narrows, these tech giants remain integral due to their innovation in AI, cloud computing, and quantum technology. However, valuation concerns could arise in a high interest rate environment. Mid-cap stocks, beneficiaries of trade-friendly policies and economic expansion, especially those serving small businesses, offer strong growth potential. Action Plan, Tech Giants. Prioritize companies leading AI monetization and technological innovation, such as Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Google. Mid-caps. Focus on niche players in sectors like e-commerce, for example Etsy, renewable energy, solar edge, and advanced chips, synaptics. Diversification. Allocate funds across large cap tech and promising mid-caps to capture growth and manage risks. Point 2. Maximize selection. Betting on M&A themes analysis. The projected 20% increase in M&A activity in 2025 creates opportunities in healthcare, tech, and financial services as smaller, undervalued companies become acquisition targets. M&A concept stocks historically outperformed during Trump's first term, signaling strong potential for similar gains. Action plan, sector focus. Prioritize industries with high M&A potential, for example, healthcare, financial technology, and cybersecurity. Timing, invest early in companies with unique market niches or proprietary technologies. Point three, delivery, monetizing artificial intelligence. Analysis, AI has entered its third stage, focusing on software and services over hardware like chips. Companies that commercialize AI, especially in social media, fintech, and cybersecurity, are poised for growth. Despite strong Q3 earnings surprises, market expectations for these companies remain low, offering attractive entry points. Action plan, sector allocation, emphasize AI utilizing sectors like software platforms, financial technology, Q2 holdings, and social media, meta. Valuation opportunities. Exploit undervalued AI players that deliver consistent revenue growth and profitability. Long-term perspective. Ride the AI adoption wave while monitoring quarterly performance to adjust holdings. Point 4. Protecting the downside. Defensive plays. Analysis. Cyclical growth benefits materials, software, and utilities sectors. Utilities provide a hedge against economic slowdowns while materials are undervalued, offering significant upside potential. Action plan. Defensive allocation. Invest in utilities like Duke Energy and NextEra Energy for stability. Materials play. Take positions in undervalued commodity companies like Albemarle, Lithium, and Freeport McMoran, Copper, to benefit from green energy and infrastructure demand. Portfolio balance. Maintain a defensive portion alongside growth-oriented investments to reduce volatility risk. Overall strategy. Number 1. Diversify across sectors. Maintain core holdings in tech giants while expanding into mid-cap growth and defensive industries. Number 2. Capitalize on M and A potential. Identify and invest in acquisition targets to gain from expected deal activity. Number 3. Leverage policy-driven growth, align investments with sectors benefiting from small business support, and trade-friendly policies. Number 4. Long-term perspective, treat short-term pullbacks as opportunities to accumulate high-quality stocks aligned with macroeconomic expansion. This strategy aligns with the anticipated industry rotation and macroeconomic growth under Trump Bull Market 2.0, providing a roadmap for steady returns amid market fluctuations. 
the Trump 2.0 portfolio. Are you ready? So there you have it, folks, the Trump 2.0 portfolio. Small caps, financials, industrials, traditional energy, these are your core holdings. Luxury goods and private prisons, those are your speculative plays. And clean energy, well, that's your long-term bet, with a little bit of a twist. This market is going to be a wild ride, but with the right strategy, you can make some serious money. Remember folks, buy low, sell high, and always stay informed. Don't be a dummy. Thank you for watching. If you find these analyses helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get more updates. For more specific details and the latest examples of stock technical analysis methods, please join my Discord group. The link to the Discord group is below this video. See you next time.